All right, Sad okay. Boys Collective, episode three, right. David Lee Hernandez. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so just uh, kind of tell us who you are. Um, you just moved down to L.A. That's just right. kind of give us a little bit, you know, yeah. a little bit of background information. All right, well, I'm 20 years old. I was just uh, living in a small town outside of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's called Pleasanton. No one's really heard of it. I know. Uh, what was it? Not that many people... You know, it's not a big a city or anything, is it? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So good. anyway, uh, yeah. And I just worked at a clinic, that $10 an hour job, and it was really nothing. Yeah, I was really bored. And Clinic, uh, what, do you, what, what were you doing exactly before? Uh, oh, before that? Yeah, what, what was your job? Before that. Oh, I was uh, working at a gas station. Okay, so Before glass station, that. then a clinic. What were yeah. you doing at the clinic? Um, I was a customer representative, pretty much just checking the patients in. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so from yeah. there, um, you always had a passion, right, for film yes. and pictures. That's yes. what you did as a hobby? Right. Yeah, I pretty much, like, when I was, like, like a child, like, I love movies and I love, you know, photography. Well, like, lo- older when I got into Instagram, then I saw, like, photos, and I'm like, I wonder if I can do that. Then yeah, I yeah. started using my phone and everything. And I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. And then so that then it like slowly grew and everything and I love like behind the scenes like in movies and stuff so it's always been like on my mind so it's been a passion so yeah so your first job was the gas station right second job was the clinic right um, and then you started finding a passion that okay the clinics the job workforce is not for me right I need yeah. to do something a little bit better yeah skip like, out on the nine to five right oh yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude like every day I was just like do I have to go yeah. you know and I just started it was actually a month. It was a month, wow. a month in. Wow. Yeah. I was slowly getting it. I mean, I did like the employees, but they just put too many rules. They put way too many rules. Yeah. So let's fast forward to, uh, you want to kind of explain who Gary Vee is, um, who he yeah. is and what he did for you basically. Yeah. Like, so, uh, he's an entrepreneur that I know, uh, he owns a wine, wine company. He owns shoes. He does, um, what is it like? t-shirts all that yeah, good Vader media yeah, he has yeah, his Vader media which is his, right. which is his big company which is basically a 200 million dollar media company they yeah. work with toyota coke oh, wow. all those all yeah. those different companies so yeah. and i think the the main thing is he's an influencer on social media on right. instagram twitter youtube mm-hmm. um so and you want to explain basically what what happened oh my goodness okay so um so here. Uh, people call in that yeah. whole kind of thing and he gives them business advice and just kind of life advice in right. general. So, yeah. So, and so like really whenever he did that, I was like, Oh, that's cool. But I just typed in my question. My question was, um, how do I stop watching your videos and go do my own thing? Right. That's Take what, action. Yeah. Right. Cause I remember he said that before he's like, you need to stop watching me and you need to go do yep. you. And so I was like, Oh, so like I put that question and I didn't think anything of it. Like, honestly, like 80% of me was like, he's not going to call me. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Yeah, so many people are replying to his Twitter and, and putting in their questions kind of thing. So what yeah. are the odds? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I was just like, I, I like, really, he has, like, 5 million followers. What are, like, what are the chances, you know? And, uh, yeah, 20% was like, I think he's going to call you. Like, he really will call you. And I was like, oh, whatever. And so I went to my room and I laid in bed. I was just on my phone. And then I get a call from New York. Like, I was like... No way. What could this be? Yeah, I was like, this, no way. This is not Gary. And I'm and I thought like, this is him. This is him. So that's why I picked up. Yeah. And oh my goodness. And it just took off from there. We will link uh the timestamp mm-hmm. of where when you called so yeah. anyone wants to get ta- uh context. Awesome. Um but yeah, yeah cuz so, we yeah. cuz how we found you essentially is me just on Instagram live just seeing oh Gary's doing a live kind of thing, clicking it, watching it for a bit and then the hitter was when he, you know, does his thing and then he puts your Twitter handle. And yeah. so that was kind of, that was kind of a big thing, right? Right. Yeah. It, it was funny too, because like whenever he, cause I didn't know what was going on. I was just talking to him on the phone. Right. Like, so you pick up it. the phone and then where does it go from there kind of thing? So like, I mean, I was just nervous the whole time. That's why I kept saying, not going to lie. Cause I was nervous <laughs> and turned into a meme. Yeah. You're, I, you're known for not going to lie guy. Right. Yeah. Someone made a t-shirt of me <laughs> saying that I'm like, Oh, that's cool. You know? Yeah. And, um, but yeah, like I was just like nervous, but also too, like I was trying to really like focus on what I was saying and what he was saying too. Like I was trying to pay attention. And so, like I said, I just couldn't believe I was talking to the guy or like, I love, like, this is the guy, you know? And, um, 
So, yeah, like I was telling him what's been going on with my life. This is what I want to do because I always had this passion. Like it's like I felt like this is what I need to do. And and what is that? So I wanted to do like first starting out, I wanted to do films, I want to be a filmmaker. And then from there, I saw vlogging. Then I really got into vlogging, okay. photography. And then I saw like how people make music videos. And then I'm like, see, I want to do all that, like right, be right. behind the camera and actually do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he called up Gary. He gave you some advice. He said he didn't doubt you, or he doubted you. You know, yeah. this lady in the studio doesn't believe you're going to actually do it. Right. And in that moment, it was hard for you to seem genuine, right? Yeah. It was just, I, I will do it. I will do it. He's like, yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah. And then he hit you with the uh, the gift. You want yes. to explain, explain what happened there? Oh, my God. So he sent a $1,000. And it's funny because he sent the 1000 and I got that notification, like, Gary Vee sends you a $1,000. And I'm like... Oh my goodness! You know, like I couldn't because believe it. no one, no one in the Instagram live thought that you were actually going to. Because so essentially, he says you drop everything, you move out of your mom's house because you're living at, with your mom at the time, and he right. says go to L.A. and yeah. everyone in the Instagram comments is like, yeah, he's, you know, wh- yeah. whatever, he's gonna do it, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. blah. But no one really believed it. So and you can't blame him to or them to a certain extent because think about all those calls that he takes where people are just like yeah you're right i guess you're right, you're right. i'm gonna do yeah. it but yeah. it's just a statistic so right. it's just crazy that you actually did it i know yeah yeah because yeah. like i too like i was thinking about it like i'm like oh, you know, i don't think i should go i mean it's kind of you know like this is crazy but also too i was like no I this because usually i don't win Pretty much in anything like sports, you know, games, all that stuff. And if I don't, I'm like, eh, it's just whatever. But like my friends, they get whatever they want. And with me, I'm like, not really. So for me to get this opportunity was just insane. And right. this is like once in a lifetime opportunity. Your mental state. So like my mental state was really just um, like I was bored and really too, like I was just kind of sad. Because it was mostly like a routine, like, yeah, I would hang out with my friends, but it just depends on them. And I would just go back to my family and I will just go home. I'll just, you know, do my own thing, play video games or whatever. And then I watch Gary V too. And he'll hype me up to do a lot of stuff, but I never like really like fully committed myself to it. You know, I was just trying to find a job, like just trying to get some money. But um, no, like I was just, like I said, I was just like, pretty sad and down about it. And I was just like, what am I doing with my life? Like, am I going to waste my life or what am I going to do? You know? I think that's a, I think that's what a lot of people are afraid of is just wasting their life kind of thing. But I think Gary V Gary V gets uh, accused of being just a hype man and no, no real substance kind of thing. But obviously for some, it kind of, it works. Right. Oh yeah. Where would you be without him? You'd be probably playing some, Whatever yeah. Fortnite, yeah, dude, just like just in Call of Duty, you know, just forty like, minutes from San Antonio. Yeah. Just dang, I wish I had a camera. And right. then the boys hit you up, but then look where you are at now. Right, I mean, the land of opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Because like, whenever I first got here, I think it was uh, last year, um, I loved it here. Like I felt like so connected, and I'm like, was I born in the wrong state? Like, like what is this? And, like it really did feel like home, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, that's when my aunt said, like, well, if you want, David, I mean, you can come live with me. And I was like, <sighs> so they were going through and then yeah. there was no flight and yeah. then you ended up driving. How did you end up actually getting to LA? So like I was going to drive, but mm-hmm. then, um, a really good buddy of mine, uh, like he's made the drive before and he's like, I don't think your car would make it. And, and w- what were you driving? So I was a 2001 Buick century. It's a good car. It Absolutely. Really but, uh, yeah, they were saying, I don't think your car would have made it past outside of Texas. So I was like, oh. <sighs> it's probably going to be a two day drive. And I was like, oh. So when you made that uh, Twitter tweet, the hashtag, mm-hmm. um, what was your feelings? Just like, screw it, I'll try it, and then not expect much? Or were you kind of hoping for something? Well, like with that, I was just, I, like, I just couldn't believe it at first. And then I was just kind of like, you know what? Like, I, I got to do this. I really have to do this. Like, you know, like, like, too, I was just like, I was on that high like drive where like I was so happy I'm just like I'm gonna do it like this is it I don't care what anyone says to me like I'm just gonna like see where it goes from there. Well, yeah, I mean, what what were people saying to you at the time when oh you're like goodness. I'm I'm going to L. A. I'm dropping everything that kind yeah. of you know what I mean. So like, yeah, nobody was in for it. Yeah, everybody was like, "You're crazy." And like, Wait, really? like he he told you to expect that. He was like, yeah. "You know what I mean?" That's what's kind of 
That was what was interesting. Yeah, like even too, it, my best friend actually said, "So if I would give you a thousand dollars right now, you would stay." And I'm like, "So where's the thousand?" And, <laughs> and like, and two, um, yeah, my best friends were just they couldn't believe it, and they didn't want me to go since it was like too soon. Like, what you're leaving right now? They yeah. probably thought you were thinking irrationally. Yeah. Um, turns out you weren't. Yeah, and then they just and they were like, "Ah, thousand isn't enough." Like, I mean, I would have asked for more. But then I thought like that was more than That's enough. That's more than enough. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really, he could have probably you got a one way ticket, one way ticket to L. A. is what two fifty or less. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that day was like three hundred some, but okay, still. But, but it's, it's yeah. still like that's so he still he was generous. Yeah. yeah, he he yeah. really wanted to help you. Um, I mean, yeah. So yeah. you just had to drop all your friends. It's what about the mom? Oh, about your mom. Because because we we noticed that you were you were having yeah. some struggles with your mom, like yeah. just yeah. with her yeah. you leaving and everything, don't you? Yeah. Expand on that a little bit. So like, I mean, I mean, she's great. She really is a great mom. Like she really took care of me and she really did like, you know, like did everything for me, but it's just that thing. And even I want to tell you all this, that what was it? Whenever I told him like that it was fantasy, like that was really a real conversation. That was a week yeah. before this happened. Right. So I even told her like, this is what I want to do. And she's like, that's fantasy, David. That's not, that's not real. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, thousands of people do it all the time, you know, like, and like a lot of them become successful, you know? Right, right. So I was just like, like, I I don't, I don't get it. And then I found out too that, you know, uh, my grandma, her mom was like that to her. That's why she's like that to me, you know, just kind of hard on her. No, you're not going to do that. Just wanting you to play it safe kind of thing. Yeah. Comes from a good place, but. Right. Yeah. Like she just, it's just too like, you know, our parents started like. You're going to make money, you know, like, are, are you really going to have a job? You know, right. I need to see it. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, oh, my goodness. So, yeah, she didn't take it too well when that happened. I show her the live and she just looked. So it, right after he hung up, you showed her, you went to her and showed her the live? Uh, she wasn't at the she house. Wasn't. Okay. She wasn't at the house at the time. Um, I actually left. I, I heard you uh, trying to pack your bags when you're on the yeah. phone. I'm packing. Yeah, the, he didn't believe he you. Did. You're, it, yeah. There, there you go. Is it good? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah, cool. it's perfect. Awesome. Awesome. But, but yeah. yeah, so you just sent her the, the IGTV clip to her phone. Where was she at the time, you know? Um, she was actually with a friend. I don't okay. know where they went in town, but uh, only my stepsister was there, and she heard everything. And then I was like with my bags and everything, and she was just like, is everything okay? Like, we're like <laughs> what just happened? And I'm just like... I'm leaving to LA. I'm moving there. She's like, "Wait, what?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you whenever." So. <laughs> see you when I see you. Yeah. So and you sent the IGTV clip to your mom. Did she call you right after? Did she text you, or what happened? I actually showed her. Uh, you know, like whenever my friends told me to, um, I don't think you should drive. Um, I bought a ticket that night. Yeah. And you know, to fly the, to LA. Yeah. And so I just came back home. Um, but she actually heard what was happening right. since it was all over oh. Instagram oh, yeah. and my family too, they saw it. And so they were telling her that's why she called me. So I have to go mm. back home and actually showed her the video yeah. and she was just uh, like, just straight face, like just watching it. And she literally just turned the other direction. Like she that's went hard. back to sleep. So you yeah. went back home and then what day did you leave the next day of the night or yeah, the next day, that the next night. day, that, that night. night. Okay. Yeah. So you at least had some like closure with your mom. You could say bye to her. And, right. All right. Bye mom. Sorry. You're through friend. Yeah. 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 But you did it. You yeah. did it. Yeah. Wow. Um, so you graduated two years ago from high school. Yeah. 2016. 2016. 2016 yeah. Did you go to junior college, community college or just, no, just chilled. Yeah. Pretty much. Started yeah. in the workforce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Were you, uh, anxious that you might not move up? You might just be working in a clinic or. Yeah. Like I was thinking like too, I was like, I almost went to um, what's it? Not tech school, the other one, uh, trade school. There you go. Yeah, trade school. Yeah, I almost went there, you know, to get a skill. But there was like really nothing that interests me. I was just mm. going through. I was like, no, I don't want to be that. And I was like, what the heck, you know? And then I was still like trying to find a way. And then even my mom was like, you should, you know, go to trade school. Or you should, if you want, or just stay at the clinic and you know go up, work your way up. Right. And then I was just thinking too, like. It wasn't like a dead end job, but I think it would take a while for me to, you know, a while of unhappiness. You weren't happy there. Right. So yeah. what was the point? Yeah. What's exactly. the point to have some extra money when you, when you hate your, hate right. your life working there? So. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was just, I was so unhappy. It, it, it really, it, it was, it was crazy. Cause I, 
honestly, when I moved here, I never been this happy in a long time. Right. That's like an honest fact. Yeah. But it's interesting. <clears throat> Would you say that him kind of putting you out there and he I remember he said something, he was like, All right, David, we're we're everyone's watching kind of thing and, and kinda of threw your Twitter handle out there. Were you just flooded with DMs or what was what was that kinda of like having your having your whole you know, oh my life goodness. exposed to everyone all at once. Oh my goodness. It was so crazy because like I think an hour later people started like to call me too. They were like, Oh, like, yeah, if you once once you get to LA we gotta meet up and we'll mm-hmm. connect. Uh, some people calling me from San Antonio was like, yo, I saw the live. That's awesome, man. If you ever need any help, let me know. And then, uh, yeah, like my DMs were getting like on Twitter. Was Cause just you were, you were unsure. Cause you have your, who, who lives here? Your aunt. Yeah. Right. She, so you were even unsure that you could stay there and people were hitting you up. You can sleep yeah. on my couch, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. They were yeah, saying yeah. that like, yo, I got a place and you know, over here, like I, we got a couch for you. You could stay a few days. Right. And then, um, even too, like there were some people that are saying, if you want, I mean, yeah, like you, you can stay with us, you know, I, I let you know. And I was like, wow. And uh, yeah, so many people were saying too, like, once you get here, like we can go ahead and like film. I got some filming I want you to do, like some music videos if you want. That's big. Yeah, like I, I got some, you know, some photography if you want to do that too. So I was just like, oh my goodness, this is like all I wanted, you know? It was so Absolutely. crazy. So now you're just shooting out content, right? Every day is yeah. a new day, right? Yeah, exactly. So instead of waking up and just being a robot, like you were saying, hang with yeah. friends, go to work, it's just what's going to be tomorrow? Yeah. What's going to be the next day? You, you oh, probably yes. don't even know. Right. Just, yeah. Um, what was what was your, your first week like, right? Because you've been here for how many days? Yeah, it's been, um, what is it? Oh, hold on. It's been 10 days. 10 days. It's been okay. 10 days. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's been crazy. Every, I feel like every day is just an adventure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I met so many people in like such a short amount of time. And I feel like I've done more than what I have in a few years. It's wow. so crazy. Wow. Yeah. And like, was it a buddy of mine? Shout out Dante. Love that dude. Um, he has sold me his camera and what was it? I just been like recording there nonstop. Yeah. And he's been helping me like, you know, with Instagram, with Twitter, like what you should do. You need to put out more content. Like he, he knows exactly what he's like saying. Yeah. And then what was it? Uh, yeah, like I'll just edit my uh, pictures. And then I actually just finished uh, some two videos today. So I did a story time about me, how I got okay. here. I did that one. And then I did a thrift store vlog. I finished up with him. So yeah. what channel is this going on? Do you want to plug it? Yeah, it's uh, David Films. It's on YouTube. Just David Films. Yeah, David Films. Easy it's on that. YouTube. Yeah, okay. and then you'll find me. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably link that. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, we will. Absolutely. So let's let's recap. So you moved to LA. You worked at a job. You probably had a little saved up, right? Yeah. So you had a you had a good amount to live off of because right. I mean, if you had a bank account with twenty bucks, it'd be uh, sketchy just going with a grand. Yeah. But you're living with your um, uh, was it your aunt? Yeah. Yeah, living with her. You have some money to survive for mm-hmm. at least what? How many months? I mean, just just to get on your feet. Oh shoot, I don't know. Uh, that's you probably tough. think about those things, you yeah, know? That, yeah, yeah, that was tough. Yeah, it's yeah, a tough question. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so you have that, um, and then basically you're putting. I would consider that you're investing in yourself. It's a yeah. risk, but it's a risk Definitely. you should take. Definitely. Um, so all these filming opportunities are. There you go. Sorry about that. So, all those filming opportunities you're getting are those free? Are those any paid? Are you coming up with any job or, op, or, opportunities or anything like that? Uh, some I did get paid, okay. and then some like it is free, but it's like experience. Oh yeah, so which is like, probably better because Gary yeah. B says work work a year for free kind yeah. of thing. So yeah, like, all yeah. of that is just going you know into your tool belt kind of thing. Right, and you're meeting people. Networking is probably far better than money. Oh yes, yes. no doubt. Yeah, like I feel like I've been getting better with the camera, like and then like that's what I need too, like experience. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get better and better with yeah. doing this. So yeah. I love it. Yeah. One one thing I just kind of want to ask you is, uh, like, do you feel the pressure now that you're kind of out there and in the open? Do you feel the pressure to succeed? Because all of Gary V's audience are people kind of in your same mindset, right? All... Yeah. Business media minded. Mm-hmm. Oops, mic unplugged. <laughs> So yeah, everyone that is supporting you and wants you to win, they're all business-minded people. Um, they they're in your in your niche essentially. It might be selling carpet, it might be whatever, but yours is filming. Right. Um, how much pressure are you feeling right now? 
Uh, and I know you're yeah. feeling the pressure. Yeah. I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no way you can just be, you know what I mean? All oh, those people kind of expecting to see big things. Are you scared? Yeah. Oh, and answer that honestly. Are you scared? Scared? Uh, I'm a little bit scared. The only thing is, like, I really shouldn't worry about the numbers. Okay. I really, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I was, like, I shouldn't be worried about, you know, followers. And some people are saying, oh, you didn't do this. Or, you know, you're taking too much time with this. Oh, you need to do this. You know, and I'm just kind of like, is that really what they want? You know, and so I was just kind of like, I still feel pressure to this day, like, like, but I am putting out content oh, yeah. out there. Like I'm, I'm like putting like what I'm doing, you know? So out of all the people you met, do you feel like you have pressure to please everyone and you can't do it? Do you feel that at all? Actually, like, yeah, I really do feel like, you know, for starting out, I think some people will be let down, but. I'm just starting out. I don't think they should expect anything, you know, from yeah. me. Yeah, as long as you keep that in mind, I feel like it, it'll it be yeah. a little bit easier on your mental kind of thing. Yeah, but, like, with me, like, too, like, whenever I, I edited some of this stuff and I shot some of this stuff by myself, you know, like, and, yeah, I had some help, too. Like, I'm, like, I'm doing pretty good so far just starting out. Like, yeah. dang, I'm I'm already going. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to get you rolling. Um, it's just amazing to see that people really – they want to see you win. They're not just, yeah. there's, here's the thing. There's no motive for them to see you. They just, they genuinely want to see you. Right. I just be successful. Um, so how many, uh, how many filming opportunities do you have lined up in the future in the next future as in, let's just say month. Yeah. Oh, you have, you have some bigger things coming, some shorter term, oh, long term. Yes. I, I, I want to keep some on the down low. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, but is there any but, that you can name? Yes. The, the, uh, can I can name? Oh, okay. Um, or you don't even have to name what exactly yeah. what it is, but the gist of what you're going to be doing or oh, okay. where you're going to be going or, okay, well, I'm actually going to provide some content for this product that me and my buddies, like actually like we saw like that someone sent us a link to, I'm actually going to give too much out information. Oh, I won't say the name, totally yeah, fine, but yeah, but, um, yeah, like, um, what is it? I'm going to put out content. We're going to work with this person. I really believe in this product. I think that's just crazy. Like, you know, they do this on their own, their product. And like they want us, like that person wants like me and my friends to help them out, which is crazy. So it's a sponsorship. I, yeah, it's a sponsorship. Okay, yeah. so a, a brand actually picked you up as a sponsor. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like he, he, like he's like, yeah, like f like film as much as you can with that. Send me all of it. I'm like, okay, great. Like, yeah, we'll work. Yeah, definitely. And then what was it? I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna do a collab um, with another person who's a makeup artist, uh, amazing person, okay. amazing person. Uh, hopefully july gonna fly me out to dc and uh yeah like work together and go to new york and and are yeah. all these opportunities that you're getting are these people who have are these people that have just come across are these connections that you're making through people or is this all from like the gary v kind of thing yeah like they seen uh like my phone call from gary v okay yeah and yeah. some of them too like they were saying i never really saw like their live stream i never knew who gary v was until i saw that phone call right so like it's just meeting from Instagram and Twitter. Uh, yeah. And then so I got plenty of other videos coming up. Uh, hopefully some music videos. Some people want to do uh, model shoots too as well. So I'm super excited. I think there's so much going on. And like I was just discussing it with a few people that I'm very excited. Like what's going to happen like in the future. So in your, uh, in your 10 days in LA, mm -hmm. which is very short and yeah. it seems like you've, you've done a lot. Um, have you ever met any any toxic people or anyone you knew you had to stay away from or uh, anything like that yet? No, not yet. Okay, Hopefully, but it's thankfully, it's, you know, it's like that's great. Yeah, it's not if it's when. So you got to stay on your guard. This is Texas, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, um, no. Even the people I met that they even said I'm glad, like we met, just for me to warn you, because there are fake people out there. There are people that you will work for and they will not pay you at all. Clout chasers. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh my goodness. And there, there's some people and I don't want, I don't want to put them out there, but, um, yeah, like they're just some, like how they text and everything, how they call. It's just kind of like, mm, it doesn't sound right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, You're going to get coming. used. Yeah. You're going to get used. Yeah. So I was just like thinking about it. I was like, mm, no, I'm not going to go through with that. You know, yeah, absolutely. I just like, I still want to keep in touch either way, but I was just like, yeah, I'm glad you yeah. had a, a good feeling from when we, we hit you up to come on. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Was really, yeah. yeah I was awesome. like, yo, let me just do a podcast. I always wanted to do one. Yeah. You know, we yeah. get that a lot. Yeah. We, we get, do get that a lot. Yeah. yeah. We get a lot awesome. of kids like, Oh, you guys started a podcast. Like we've been wanting to do that forever. So it's kind of, oh, it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun. funny. Cause, uh, no, a buddy of mine, like he, he did it. And I said, 
I should be on your next one and I never was, but this is better. This is better, you know, like this is awesome. Oh my goodness. How we just, we care about what different personalities and what your views on, because yeah. I mean, you obviously uh, did something most people won't do. I mean, change your life in the matter of a couple right. minutes. So yeah. Um, do you, are you still in a uh, shock or that hype that Gary just, you know, you're in LA, you have all this adrenaline just surging through yeah. your veins. Is it gone down yet? Do you have more of a clear view or are you just, cause that's, still that's the phenomenon oh. him and I, we always talk about is like yeah. the, just the jump. Cause you're all, you know, you're kind of in a predicament or whatever. And then you ask Gary V, he gives you all this, like, you know, screw everyone and leave and just follow who you are. We always talk about like the come down from that must be just yeah. gnarly, you know? No, like, I mean, I'm not the one to brag. I'm not really much of a bragger. I'm pretty sure some people call me out, but really I'm not. But uh, yeah, like, you're good. Don't even, yeah, no, yeah. like what was it? But really, um, it it's kind of like died down with me. But at the same time, too, like people still send me like DMs. And people still send me like uh, what is it? Like even my family, like yo, we love watching you on that call. And then I just like brings back memories. Like I still can't believe I'm here. You know, right? It's a little burst of that that energy that. You yeah. know, Gary brings kind of yeah like even yeah. like with people like they want to connect they're just like dude i saw that call and that was just crazy what you did and i'm yeah, just inspiring like, for sure yeah like I, I just like i still like it just brings me back to i was like man like i can't believe it you know like he yeah. called me and like oh my goodness and then like why i'm here too but then like really i've been focusing on myself like i'm here and it really is time to work like yeah <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this now. Okay. Are you okay. ready? Yes, let's go. You're on the call with Gary. Yes. You talk about your, your parents, your mom. Yeah. She says, screw your parents. You talk about your friends. Yeah. Screw your friends. Right. You talk about how you're feeling in that moment. Screw how you're feeling. Go yeah. out and do it. Yeah. That night, I know, and you, 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 could, you can say as much as you want, yeah. you probably thought a lot of emotions. I mean, yeah. you said your friends think you're a loser for staying at home. He thinks yeah. your mom, I mean, he said a lot. He yeah. said, he basically... Yeah. What he, Gary said on the podcast is that everything that you're afraid of has already happened. Yes, exactly. Yes. So I love yes. that. Part. So was, after that call, after you packed up, after you showed your mom, did you feel like uh, you were you against the world or how did you feel? Yeah, like, I mean, I was like I was saying, like, I was I was really thinking, like, am I really doing this? Like, like, sh I should just go back, you know, and even too, like I was when I was laying in bed about to go like leave. I was like, I shouldn't go. Maybe I should return back the thousand, you know, maybe I'll do this on my own. And then I was just kind of like, you wouldn't have, no, done. you wouldn't no. have done that. On your yeah. Own. And then I, I was thinking too, like how crazy would it have been if I just been like, no, I'm not going to do it and just send him back the money. And then I was just thinking like, oh, I just called Gary V. He called me and look, and I just passed up that opportunity. You know what's going to happen? You're going to remember that your whole life. Yeah. And yeah, you're just be a cloud in... over your head right. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So I yeah. was just like, no, no. And I was thinking of all the, like the outcomes and I'm like, no, no, I have to do this. Like I have to do this. Yeah. And so no, I gave my uh, really good best friend a call and, and then he drove me to the airport. He still, he still couldn't believe it. What was happening. That's a true I mean, friend though. He wasn't, that is he a true friend. you know yeah. what I mean? He drove yeah. you. So he right. believes in you. Love that dude. Did yeah. you Uber to your uh aunt's house or what happened after that when you when you landed oh um i actually texted her that i'm on oh, my way she picked you up yeah, yeah awesome. she texted me awesome. yeah. uh her and my uncle yeah they they picked me up which is awesome you have a great relationship with them yeah yeah That's like good. we're actually like getting closer and uh also too like you know i've been helping out around the house and everything as well because i'm not yeah. i'm not staying there for free That's come good. on That's good. but uh yeah like and it's it's funny because like they're they're saying like you're out every day you know like like, what time are you coming back? You know? Right, yeah. So when you first got to L.A., what was, like, were you setting out, like, I need to go out and do something? I need to be, like, what was the first thing that you ended up, you know, actually yeah. doing that would add to your, kind of the purpose of why you're out here? You know? Right. Because, like, it's funny because whenever I got here, I was like, we're going to do something right now? You know, because I'm ready. It's 10, yeah. it's 10 p.m. It's kind of early. I mean, come on. Let's go do <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah. You hear. know, like, come on. I can stay up till 2. Uh, but, yeah, like, and then nobody, everybody was like, tomorrow, you know, or like this week. I'm like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. And, um, yeah, so, like, like, whenever I got there, I was just like, to my aunt's place, I was like, I'm here. I'm here. And I was, like, messaging people and everything. It wasn't until I met, like, my buddy Dante, and then from there, it just like, you know, it just exploded. Right. Like, it just oh my goodness! Like every yeah. day, man. So, uh, do you have a car to drive around, or are you kind of? No, like I'm just 
kind of like relying on people. Yeah, walking if I have you to. You can kind of walk almost everywhere you need to go. Work, yeah, especially in downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, yeah, I was downtown. like, I was like walking around the neighborhood and get to know the place. I was like, oh, there you go. There's a bus. You know. Yeah. 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 My my aunt was saying, oh, there's a metro over there. I was like, oh, perfect. You know. You're using your perfect. resources. That's awesome. Yeah. Like uh, never back home. Never like I have to walk like three miles just to get to my school. Wow. So like. Just for this, it's like, oh, it's just down the street. Oh, perfect. You know, like, it's just so much here. And I love, like, I'm I'm always the city guy. I'm not a yeah. country guy. Yeah, or, I feel no, that. No. I feel that. It's, yeah. What's your, been, what's your uh, biggest distraction so far in, in L.A.? Do you have anything that you think is distracting you that you know you shouldn't be doing, but you're doing it? <laughs> something uh, that's holding you back? Oh, some, oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> dang. You can think about that one for a second. Oh, well, I would say, um, I mean, I still talk to my mom, see how she's doing. But What has she been saying since you, yeah. you know what I mean? What have, What's kind of been her, because obviously she can't be horribly angry at you. Right. So what if she, what's been the, pro, the pro, yeah. progress, I guess? Yeah, like, well, she's still on both sides, mm-hmm. you know? Um, a lot she kind of still wants you to come back. Kind yeah, of yeah, she yeah. still does. She still does. Um, even my best friends, they're like, you should uh, come back. And then I'm just like. No, you know? yeah, because no. that would just be humiliating, you know. Because yeah, like, they're like, "Oh, David went on his like one week vacation to L.A." You right, know, and to, that's it. You yeah, know? no, even, you know, even that to happen. like a good friend of mine was saying, "Don't come back." I like, I'd rather have you stay there because you're doing something that you love. Right, you know, this is this is it. So I was like, yeah. "Wow," and so like, yeah, my mom, she's still playing that both sides card. Um, she told me the other day, "I'm proud of you." That's good. Yeah, and then uh, but. Today, I think she was, yeah, like, so many changes are happening, people moving, people we don't like, whatever. And she was like, well, since they left, you can come back whenever you want. And I'm just like. I know I can, Mom. Yeah, I was like, thank you, Mom. I know. I was like, thank you. I appreciate you. But I know, I told her I love her. And, you know, and she has, like, she sent me more clothes, like, that I needed, which is great, you know. And, uh, I mean, she still loves me. She's like, I- I'll always love you, but. It's just, it just happened all of a sudden, you know? She's got to trust in the program kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like she, and like, I even have this conversation cause I was like, I'm not going to stay here forever. Right. And, and I think she knew that she just didn't know when I was going to leave and neither did it. Neither did I. Um, and I was like, I'm not going to be living here 30 years old, you know, still with you. No, wow. I'm not going to do that. That's not clinic. my life. Yeah. No, no. I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. And like, ah, oh, I forgot something. I was going to say something else. Oh man. But anyway, it'll, yeah. it'll come back. Yeah, it'll come back. It'll yeah. Come back. So, yeah. wow. Anything else you want to say? Anything else? Anything, man? I mean, yeah, I have, I have a couple more things I want to ask you. Uh, yeah. Want a time limit? Not yeah. really. No. Oh, okay. oh perfect. Oh. We're just trying to. Yeah. Um. You know, feel things out on what what you want to say, what you don't want to say. Yeah. But so far, your relationship with your mom is, it's good. Yeah, like it, it's good. Yeah. Ups I'm, and downs, or just kind of. Yeah, she just. You know, kind of still in shock, kind of, you know, and then it's 10 days. It's been 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So how was your mental health before all this? Uh, uh, we kind of touched over it, but what was your yeah. overall mental health? Uh, mental health. Be honest. I'm completely honest. I'm completely honest. I was, if we're being honest, I was a little bit happy, just a tiny bit, but really I was like sad. You know, I just didn't, I really didn't like where I was at, but, you know, yeah. like, like really? And I was thinking too, like this was funny. I want to tell you this. Um, at my at the clinic job, uh, my coworker was saying, "Hey, I'm gonna leave in a month. And so I'm gonna go back to school, be an RN." And I'm like, "When is it gonna be my turn?" Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was gotta like, get out there, right? Yeah. I yeah. was like, "When is it gonna be my turn? What am I gonna do, me?" You know? But it's kind of like, be careful what you wish for. But I didn't. I wasn't. You know? Hey, it was this year because I thought next year was gonna be my year. But that's kind of what Gary Vee was saying. He's like, yeah. next year is not your year because yeah. then yeah. next year will be your year. It's yeah. now, right. you know. Yes, yeah, yeah. now. And then I was just like, exactly. oh my goodness. And you know, like it's crazy too. Like the opportunity he gave me, and like what that opportunity comes with. Like Gary Vee attracts so many people, and like so many people do like all kinds of things. So that's just awesome that those people like want to help me. Right. Yeah. That's so you're awesome. you're a little happy, a lot sad. Yeah. Mixed yeah. emotions. What yeah. about now? Now. I've been happy every day. I honestly yeah. lost track what day it is. More stress though. Yeah. Huh? More, more stress? stress? Uh, no? a, a little bit. It's less comfortable, right? Yeah. It's more of the... Uh, you're out right? of your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, I actually am out of my comfort zone. It's just, it it, you know, trying to get used to things. It's, it still like comes into my mind. I'm 
am I gonna get paid? You know, or yeah. it, like here and there, it, not not really rational things like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. like the rational thoughts. Am I gonna thoughts. eat today? You know, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. they say if you're uh, if you're in your comfort zone, you're actually not progressing at all. Exactly. Um, so maybe that means you're doing something right. Yeah. yeah. And you know, there's some days I'll be like. Like I'll be at home, like laying in bed, and I'm like, no, I'm here in LA. I have to do something. Yeah. You know, I have to do something. Right. Like the other day, I was just kind of like, what to do? You know, and I'm like, and I was repeating myself. I was like, and then that's when all the mem- memories started to come back. You should go back home, David. I mean, it's fine. You know, it, it's fine. The little voice, the little voice yeah. of comfort in your head, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. People were saying that's not you. That ain't you. That's the other people's voices thinking it's you, yeah. but it's not. I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was thinking like. I haven't made the video story time. People need to know. Yeah. So like, I just went to the Griffith Observatory because that I lo- always love that place. And I'm like, I I have my uh, camera charged up the batteries. I'm like, let's go, bro. And then I just started like film all the way there. Absolutely. It was so crazy. And like, and two, like, I did it by myself. Yeah. I was actually proud of that. I was like, I did it by myself. Like, I didn't have anyone else's help. Like, I did it by myself. Yeah. yeah. No one forced you to do it either. Right. You- Woke up one day and you said, I'm going to do it. And yeah. You did it. Yeah, exactly. So. I, I love that. When it comes from like within, like, it's just amazing. Like I did it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. So I'm going to ask you some questions on your, uh, on your Instagram and oh. just kind of explain them. Here we go. Um, oh, that's cool. So the first one is it's our favorite thing to do. What is oh. this? Oh, at the Freeman Coliseum. Where, what is the deal with this one? <laughs> We're not a cult. That's what I'm going to say straight up. We're not a cult. We're an organization. Okay. Uh, this is actually for my religion. Okay. What yeah. are you? Uh, Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah so that's a, that's in the free. How many people are there? Yeah. Where is that? Oh, oh, thousands. Thousands of people. I, I want to say 5,000 at least. It actually and, grew every day. It was a three day uh, convention. Started Friday. Okay. That's, yeah. And Sunday. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, every, I loved it. Every day was great. I loved it. I got to meet new people. and Okay, okay so it's in San Antonio. Yeah. This yeah, is San like Antonio, a big yeah. coliseum out yeah. there. This was 2017. Okay. Oh, there we go. Definitely. Um, let's see what else you got on Come here. On. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So, yeah, these are some of your, you know, uh, B-roll kind of photography. Yeah, kinda, yeah. Yeah, these are, these are sick. Right. Got those on here. Mm-hmm. Is there any of these you want to kind of clarify or... Oh, you can pick whichever one, man. I got you. All right, let's let's see what we got on here. What about you, GV? We got a little we got a little Jersey selfie right here. I like this one. Scroll up. Right That's there. right. Oh, yeah, it's there right here. here. Yo, I want to tell you this. My mom packed it. <laughs> really? hey. it, it felt like a superhero thing. I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm back. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. For me, it's amazing. Uh, shout out to my uh, best friend Johnny. He's the one that drove me to the airport. Absolutely. He. I told him. I was like, hey. uh, can you buy me this jersey? He's like, I got you, bro. <laughs> and then, I, like, I wore it so many times. It was so awesome. Everybody, so loved it. everybody See. loved that album. Every day was going off, like, mm-hmm. and and it's funny because I got that. You know how it tells you like phone usage and like how many, yeah, you know, how right, much time. Right, right. Oh yeah. So I I thought like I was spending so much time on Twitter. It really was Instagram. I was spending much time on. It was 15 hours I spent. <laughs> I was like, golly, I thought it was Twitter the whole time. No, it was. It was Instagram. It's funny because Twitter, I never really liked Twitter. I never really mm. understood it. And right. like, then I saw like people on Instagram, like, hey, like people are liking my stuff, like uh, famous people. And I was like, oh, wow. So I redownloaded Twitter. And then, um, yeah, some people like started to like my stuff. I st- slowly got, you know, getting followers. 168. As of right now, I have over 3,000. Wow. Yeah. Just like that. Crazy. And, and, and it's crazy too because. Uh, not to brag, but I did Don't beat, brag. yeah, I, I did beat a, what's it called? There was this like really cool, like popular kid in school. Oh. I beat him, I beat him <laughs> in followers. I beat him in yeah. followers, you know? That's yeah, funny. I thought that was pretty cool. Take some but we notes. followed each other, you know? So, but yeah, I was popular like, homie. oh shoot, you know? I love yeah. that. But um, Instagram, he destroyed me. So, <laughs> but so. Yeah. Let's talk. What is your plans okay. to keep longevity of the people following you now? So they don't forget who because you have you, an audience now yeah right. we just basically gave that to you and now yeah. you got to kind of keep that you know right um i was actually talking about this um so i just want to like do like day in the life what's going on okay like, oh this is the this is the guy that you know gary v called um I, it's like i want to keep my word 
you know, actually I'm filming, I'm doing photography, I'm doing, you know, music videos. I like, I always want to keep working on that. And I want to give that to the audience. Like, right. it's not just like, oh, he just took the G and took off. You know? Yeah. Like just... Someone said that. I was like, how dare you? Uh, but <laughs> that's yeah. not me kind of thing. No, yeah, you no, got to kind of prove like, yourself no, a little like, bit. You gave me this. I'm going to use it, you know, yeah, like absolutely. It's, it's a good thing. So, yeah, like with that and then just, um, yeah, I want to, I want to like, you know, have people like, like, oh, he's still doing it. Like, hey, like, oh, he's getting better and better. Like that, that's what I want. Yeah, you know? That's like, progression. Yeah, progression. Always improve. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. That's what, that's, that's what you and I always that's talk That's what we talk about with the, the come podcast. up, right? Yeah. 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 So you're going from 168, you said, to yeah. 3,000 just like yeah. that. That's yeah. just, yeah. that's one step Here's what's going to happen. Right? You're going to shoot up like you did. You're going to level off. And that's where most people get discouraged. Yeah. And they give up. You can't get discouraged. They're just going to level off. It might be at 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. It might be like that for two months. And then it'll go up, yes. level off, maybe go down a little bit, go up. Yeah. That's what yeah. sets, that would set you apart is you cannot give up. Just because right. you're not seeing improvement, because you're not, you know that you're right. just gonna level off sometime. It always does, but you just gotta keep going. Yeah, definitely. Gotta keep grinding. Definitely, you know. And actually, um, I talked about that. It was uh, actually something serious with the phone call. They were saying, you "Can't really rely on people too much." Right. Like even yeah, like enjoy it now, because there will be times people will get busy, things come up with people, you know, different people in their lives. So you gotta, you know, work on yourself. <laughs> you gotta do it on your own, right. so you don't like. If they're gone, like then you can still do you, you know. Right, still you have to be yourself. you have to be your main motivator, kind of thing. Right. Like people will encourage you, but then everyone's got their own lives. They're focusing on yeah. their yeah. own improvement. So yeah, and, yeah. and I like I understood that back home because I mean I used to hang out with my best friends like almost every day, and then now it's like, you know, things happen, and I'm I was just bored at the house, and then I kind of like it's slowly like I was like it's making sense like all right, you know, like I right. have to do my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? talk to Gary V at all or done anything like that any contact with him after uh only whenever I comment on his stuff it's like he he knows you know uh, has anyone anyone from like Gary V's team or anything like that have that any of them followed you do you think like I know you probably couldn't tell from all the followers you're getting yeah. but I wonder if there's you know one or two guys from the team like hey keep an eye on this guy kind of thing yeah um well team Gary V hasn't followed me but they know like it's okay. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Some, I think some videographers that, you know, that actually like worked for him. Like mm -hmm. it, I don't think they're really known, but like Gary V following D rock, uh, team Gary V, like right. they follow them. So he's not just going to drop a grand on you and then forget about you. We'll put yeah. it that way. He's going to check off on you. Exactly. Yeah. We, we all, all three of us know that he's your number, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, what was it? And he followed me on, on Twitter, which was insane. Yeah, that's crazy. I was like, what? Because I checked his profile. I was like, follows you. I was like, no way. Oh, I was like, oh, I'm not going to let this guy down. I love that, dude. Where do you see yourself in three years? Give me like the the, the oh. daydream picture of just what you see this from morning if to night. If anything's possible, what's, okay. what do you hope for? All right. I, either I'm going to be like. It can be boastful. It's all good. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think either I'm going to be more than what I think. Or maybe just a little bit less, but I think I'm going to get there. So I think I'm going to have like awesome equipment, like even better cameras, you know, like I think I'll have more connections and I think people will still be blowing up my phone. Like, yo, David, I want you to like film this for me. Yeah. 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 yeah there's an, there, there we go. Yeah. yeah. So go for it. There you go. But yeah, like, and, uh, I really do think like I'm going to be like helping out more people. That's, that's what I want to like, give back, help out other people. And yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, I, I think like, I'm going to be like, still like, I'm still going to be happy and doing what I love. Like this is it. Yeah. Maybe so, if it ends up going somewhere, you know, even more than you can imagine, you can help some other David Lee Hernandez, you know, definitely. from right outside. Of yeah, San Antonio, definitely. Texas, that, see, you know? I don't mind doing that at all. Like, and like, I was thinking about it too. I'm planning on it on my YouTube. Um, like they can see me, like you know teach other people upcoming like photographers or you know vloggers yeah. or whatever because at least they'll be more comfortable because i'm still learning mm -hmm. and then they're probably like learning too yeah. so they're like oh okay you know and like, you already like, have a little bit of credibility from oh yeah i really did it i left yeah, my mom's yeah. house i left the comfort of my own home yeah, to kind of right. get out there and get after it yeah definitely yeah. you know some people even said that they're like they're I, they're in the same situation like oh i left like i left too i was like really and then some people were like it's just, you know, my beliefs and, or like, it's just what my mom's, my, my parents say. And I'm like, I Par get it. Parents really be holding people back. Yeah. Yeah. And too, I was like saying like, like, I get it. 
and like I really do. Like they do love you, but you need to go do your own thing. I like I tell them like you you really need to do it, man, because yeah, you yeah. don't want to regret it. You don't want to regret it. So, yeah, I was thinking like back home. I was like, what am I gonna do? Like really, I was just there. Like I was just there. I really, yeah. and I and I was like trying to do progression and things I wanted. I wasn't getting anywhere. So I was just like. What am I gonna do? Like I even like just needed that drastic change, you know? Yeah, something like, to kind of a wake up call kind of thing. Yeah, literally like, from yeah, Gary Vee. No, really, like, yeah. yeah. No, really, because I was thinking too, like ah, my friends, like they go do their own thing too, and I'm just there at the house, you know, and then like we're not really doing anything sometimes, sometimes, and then like too, I was like, am I gonna get married this year? You know, like am, am I gonna just gonna get married, just get like a okay job and settle down kind of yeah, 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 settle yeah, yeah and then i'm just gonna be like even more depressed like <sighs> i didn't do anything with my and life and then you're gonna yeah. turn 40 have a midlife crisis yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why you don't want to happen oh, anything definitely. you can do to prevent that right yeah i i and that's actually what i wanted to like i still want that but like i want to do my own thing first mm. and your then, own trail yeah, yeah exactly and then we'll see what happens yeah. in the future yeah. i get that did you have a love life that you had to leave behind or no okay so wait that... luckily hold on uh-oh we're well, holding on i have a best friend oh. but anyway but okay. you know what they okay. said was crazy they were saying don't come back they said if you do come back i won't open the door for you i was like are you serious that's bad energy yeah, yeah. i was like oh my goodness and then like even their stepdad was like no stay in la that's what gary v said you're gonna stay in la do not come back or I will beat you up. I was like, oh my God. And I know I'm like, I get along with them and everything. Yeah, yeah. But that was like even more motivation. Yeah. I was like, wow. Like that we were close and you know, you want me to stay? I'm like I'll stay. Like so many things motivated me. Gary V motivated me. Also too, he's like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll embarrass you. In front. And I know he will. I, oh, oh, he would humiliate you. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, he, he would not care if I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the one respectable thing. thing. He just does his thing and he does not care. He holds everyone oh, accountable yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And, and then that motivated me. And then also too, like, like I said, like I, I never like will get this opportunity. And if I do, like, how long will I wait? You know? So yeah. I was like, I got to do this now. And I always wanted to do something, you know, I yeah. was just thinking, when am I going to do it? And then that, that time was, you know, last week, which is crazy. So you're on the mountain ready to bungee jump. You're, you're oh, growing yeah. older and older, just waiting to, you know, grow yeah. the balls to right do it. At the age of right. 20 years old. Yep. Oh, and Gary Vee drop kicks you off that mountain. Yes. And now you're here. Oh, I know. I got a parachute with me. He didn't see that. One <laughs> thing I was kind of curious about is like, I kind of mentioned like, this isn't Texas kind of thing. What's right. been like? What I always wonder is how big is the culture shock coming from Texas to California just in general? Because I know you're staying in Long Beach at right. you know, your, your aunt's house kind of thing and yeah. moving into downtown L.A. and doing work. But uh, what's it been like just the people and just kind of the culture, you know? Um, well, so far, like I met really incredible people, like amazing people, too. I was just like there's really no change with the people so far. Right. And um, I mean, I like how there's the beach now because if you're going to go content. Yeah. content everywhere you go dude i was like this it's is all just kind, especially in downtown la there's all kinds of crazy people everywhere yeah, and all yeah. Too, like, yeah. just interesting Big stuff time. around yeah and it's funny too because whenever i came here and even the second time i came here with my friends i was like like there's so many creative people like there's so many like creative buildings like i was like oh my goodness like yeah. this is amazing absolutely and, yeah to ca capture all that like oh it's just uh, even better. Beautiful. It's just awesome. And you bring a new perspective, you know, because uh, we were talking about this when you first got here, you know, it's like when you live here, you don't think maybe some things kind of pass you by, fly over your the radar kind of thing for people who are raised here, but it yeah. kind of brings a new taste to the table. So Right. Yeah. It's just crazy. I, I just still can't believe it, you know, like I never, I never would have thought I would do this or like connect with the people I met and, you know. Like yeah, back home, yeah, yeah. Like I was thinking too. Like, what if I didn't even fall? I what if I didn't even tweet my number out? You know what I'm saying? Well, what if, if I, you didn't, you would be in San Antonio. Yeah, just wasting my life. I away. think I think <laughs> the Twitter going live on Twitter really helped because people, you know, you know what I mean. Where Gary's yes. like, yeah. Gary's yeah. like, Google it, David. You know, Google's your yeah. Google's your mom. Dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was just that that cracked me up. Oh my goodness! You know what? Google didn't even answer that. Really? Not even YouTube answered that. I was <laughs> like, Dad, you know, YouTube's my dad now. But uh, <laughs> learning more from him. But uh, yeah, like, 
it wasn't until like someone called me from San Antonio, tell me what like this like this is how you go live. I'm like, thank you for telling me. Gary <laughs> B didn't even help me at all. What the heck? I mean, that's like perfect because then people actually know. Well, look at him. He's in the car right now. He's going to the airport. That kind of thing. Yeah, so it uh, gives you a little more authenticity. I feel like. Right. Yeah. It, it was funny. Like I grabbed his shoes. I think the last thing I grabbed was two of his books, Crushing It and Ask Gary V. I was like, here you go. Hey, Put those are the ones. Yeah, honestly, yeah, dude, yeah. Like, and then I just packed up and I was like toothbrush everything you know like how much I pack I was like it, it was just crazy it wow. was just crazy yeah that's the one thing I wish I recorded people me to see you should have you should have recorded oh the come up yeah because we heard you on the call you're like where are you kind of thing and yeah. you were in LA or what yeah they were just saying like um are you coming in today you know like and I told them well I just got this opportunity in LA and uh, I want to thank you so much for letting me work there I really do appreciate the opportunity and they're like we need your keys for like, you know, for a lock box or something. Like, do you know where they're at? I'm like, yes, they're on my desk. <laughs> like, really? I was like, wow. And then, um, no, no good luck wishes. Yeah. No, no, like that. No, no, like, nothing like keys? that. Yeah. Like I remember my mom, cause, um, the CEO of the place, he's actually our neighbor. And my mom was telling him like what happened. And he was just like, his wife was like, proud of me like oh you know like i'm glad like i hope he does something you know like right, right. hope everything goes well with them and then the other one was like um my the he's my boss yeah was my boss he was saying like uh well i understand and i hope everything goes really well for him maybe you can like, come back one day with a little a little flex on all those people oh you know my I mean? goodness that would be that would Dude. be satisfying wouldn't it it was so funny, man, because like I've been smiling so much, like my cheeks have been hurting. You know, I was like, oh. Was, That's how you know you're doing something right. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. So who's that? Oh yes, yes. Yeah, tell us about this. We're confused. Yesterday, yesterday. Um, he is a rapper. Well, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a rapper. His name is Fora. Wendy Williams did talk trash about him. I did not like that at all. Um, yeah. Is he, is he on the come up? Yeah, he's he actually uh, worked with G Easy and some other people too. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy. He was actually having a car meetup at his uh, store, okay. and like so many cars were there. And then like, I was with a buddy of mine, and we we're about to leave. And then like, I saw in his story like he's like, "I'm on my way," and so I was like, "Oh shoot!" So we just stayed in line and waited for him. Uh, he was actually gonna come to San Antonio, and I bought tickets to go see him, uh, but he canceled. And he's like, "I'll make it up to everyone." And I told him, I "Waited for you, but." <laughs> I moved here now, so it's great to see you. And he was such a nice guy. And it was like, nah, it's cool, man. Like, and like much love to you. He's like, appreciate you, man. And I was wearing, that's his shirt. Uh, and you can't see it, but it says, Legends Never Die. Oh, nice. So, right. yeah. That's a little that's a little film camera around your, around your neck there? Yeah, that's uh, my buddy uh, Dante. He uh, sold me that camera. I loved it. Okay, and, that's the one you were talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're, into, you're into shooting film and stuff like that? Yes, that's yes. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've mean, actually been getting better. I did record a lot of stuff that day, so I'm going to try and edit all that together and uh, post it on YouTube. So this is the this is the more content focused, right? Yes. This Instagram right here. Right. Um, are you even using the one we looked at before, the Not David 2017, or is this just, you're just going full in on David Films right here? I'm pretty much going 95 percent on this one. Uh, okay. The Not David. I mean, I still like, I still talk to people like my friends are there. So right, yeah, absolutely. like I still like text and everything. And some people still follow me on that one. So you know, it's kind of like a back and forth. But my main focus is this one right Trying now. Trying to transition it over a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I always see these pictures, uh, these videos actually, with just you in the car with the homies. Are these just your friends? Or are yeah. these Uber? Just whoever you can salsa ride from? Or? Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, they're my friends that I just met through Twitter. That, oh, yeah, okay. That, that's the f he's actually the first one I met. Yeah. This guy. Yes, that's that's the guy. That's the first guy you met. What's his name? Uh, Dante. That's Dante. Oh, yeah. Dante. Shout okay, so he sold you the film. Yeah. So it's all coming oh, around. Shout it's out to that together. dude. <laughs> Love that dude, man. He's awesome. He knows his stuff. He does. He knows his okay. stuff. Oh, how'd you guys? How'd you guys meet up? Uh, Twitter. And uh, yeah, he just he was, hit you up and was like, "I'll come pick you up," kind of thing. Yeah, or? yeah. He came with uh, him, uh, my buddy Peter, as well. And then. So that's Peter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then it it was really cool. Like uh, munching some burritos I, or what? Oh, that was uh, Jersey Mike's. Never oh. had Jersey Mike's. You never had you Jersey never Mike's. Had it. Never I, had it. I ate yeah. it today. It's pretty yeah. good. What really? did you have to try in uh, California? That's not in Texas. Yeah, I don't know. You, I, I saw you had your first In and Out. I yes. saw the reaction video. Oh, loved it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that. That did you have Five one. Guys over there? 
Yes. Okay. So yes. you had that. I we had in and out. Okay. Um, I need to go eat at California Pizza Kitchen. Okay. Is that yeah, good? That's a good place. Yeah. Good. Yeah. There was one it's in classic. Texas, but I'm like, well, it says California. It's not Texas. So let me, <laughs> yeah, things, let me try yeah. it you yeah, know, here. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, what else is here? There was always Chick-fil-A in Texas. There's, yep. They're everywhere, right? Yep. Um, what else? What else I should I try? That, I, I didn't know Josie Mike's was a California thing. I really didn't. Well, like, yeah. I think it's a Texas thing. I just never really you just went. never had it? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Absolutely. It's like across the It's States, everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's you, you touched all the bases pretty much. I mean, there's some there's some high-end restaurants that are kind of known for being like California, like Nobu. I think yeah. that's that one. Oh, but that's that like one? super expensive sushi. Oh, um, wow. It's bougie. If you can do that, go there at least once in Malibu. Okay. Um, that one I would try. I guess there's one in Las Vegas, so not really, but oh, it's, perfect. it's in the West Coast. Um. But, I mean, that's pretty much everything to do in California. Yeah. Go to the beach a whole bunch. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Santa Monica, that's my place. I yeah. love that that area in general. Yeah. Have you been over to Venice, Venice Beach at all? Yes. Okay. Yes, I've been yeah. there. I love it there. It's cool, actually cool, nice. Cool. I feel like Santa Monica's cleaner, but, you know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, but it's a little yeah, grimy. I love it. I love it. Um, no, it's just, with here, too, it's, I think it makes it a lot more fun, and you have a great time when, you know, the people who you, you're surrounded with. Yeah, yeah I realize that, definitely. Yeah, this is just crazy. Probably looking on time. Yeah. We are at what? Uh, one hundred and one. Absolutely. Oh, one hundred and one. Oh, uh, yeah. Zoe, it's going fast. Um, anything else? Why should people care about David Lee Hernandez? Oh, okay. Um, give us your little promo right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, I want to see. I hope people like see me. Like this is a guy I just started. You know, um, I want to like I want people to see like okay, let's see what he does, let's see what he does now. Like he's been given this opportunity, and now like let's see where he is like gonna start. How is he starting? What is he doing? And then just go from there. Like throughout the years, like they see the progression. You know, like I really want them to see that. Like wow, um, I know um, too. Like people were saying that people were envying me. Like uh, I'm sure like. And I do believe that, that I'm sure that people have better cameras than me, have more experience. Call from Gary Vee. They never got like the connections like how he has, you know, it's just like really that kid just. Right. Yeah. Cause we didn't really talk about that. We talked about all the love you got, obviously yeah. from, from everyone, but have you ran into anything kind of on the negative side of people like, Oh, this guy, you know, Oh, see, this is what I want to talk about. This is crazy. Cause I never saw the live until I showed my mom. There was so much hate for me. There was no yeah, good in the look. comments I was watching that. Yeah, yeah was there like, was no like I didn't not see I did not see like no love at all. They're like, oh, David just took the G and left. He's probably still laying in bed, telling his mom like wow. he just talked to Gary V. And this is like when I was getting like like I was showing my mom. I was like, wow, people are rude, you know. Okay. And it's just like like David's not gonna do it. Uh, like not gonna lie, making fun of me with that. And I was just like, really? These people? Like, you know, like he's not going to do it like this and that. It's, I think a buddy of mine was saying like it wasn't until they saw me and I was actually doing it. Then they flipped. You yeah. know, they were like, oh, they he's doing it. it. Once, once you went oh. on the Twitter live and you're like, look, guys, I'm actually I'm heading out right now. That's, yeah. I feel like that's when people were like, oh, he's yeah, actually. Like, oh, like, yeah. oh, you know, like they like they switched like completely like 360. You know, it's just like, oh, like, oh, I can't wait for this. Good luck, man. You know? Yeah. But uh no, it it so whenever I saw those um comments on the live, mm. I almost felt discouraged, felt like sad. I almost started like I felt like I was gonna tear up, but then somehow I don't know what it was, but like I just smiled and I'm like, I'm gonna prove all these people wrong. Keep yeah, piling up, bro. More yeah. people to prove. Keep wrong. going, keep running your mouth. Yeah, I yeah. was like, let's go, bro. You know. And here you are. So uh you saw that hate, but you didn't like get to you right basically. yeah it just it almost got to me but i'm like no no almost like, did but you yeah yeah it's like turn it all into positivity yeah. you know yeah and then too like uh someone commented like rude they were like i don't know if, if you saw it um one of my pics they were saying um hey man i'm so proud of you good luck and everything and then the the this girl was saying like like yeah unless you like scams and i'm like what scam like i don't i don't get it and then some people were like, kind of right. like, were they, were they accusing you as a scammer yeah. or are they okay saying yeah. like, oh. I was like a scam, you know, like what, what are you talking about? I mean, about? for a once in a, I mean, that's kind of, you know, for a once Gary V ticket, it's like, how can you really be scamming? Yeah. Gary? Yeah. Exactly. I was like, what? And then like, 
And then some people Gary were like, Gary V would ruin you too if he oh, found yeah. out that Why? you weren't Couldn't. actually going to California oh, with his thousand that. bucks, you know? Oh, he would yeah. destroy me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, like some people like were like defending me. One was a little harsh. Like they even said it too. Like it's a little harsh, man. But then I was like, nah, it's whatever because then I got to show them that I'm working yeah. at this. And yeah. then they were just like, I love that, you know? Because I'm just like, nah, it's whatever. Like they're not paying my bills, you know? They're not related to me i don't even know who that is yeah. so it's just like eh, whatever i mean if they want to see me in my journey later on that's perfect you know yeah, they can they can always switch it up like they do yeah they're like oh this this kid got really good you know yeah so yeah this this is always something like i said i always wanted to do i fell in love with it uh and then like i saw like so many like people like on and you know instagram youtube like how they do it and i'm just thinking too like i want to do that you know, like I want to do like my own version of it, yeah. you know, and I love what Gary V said, too, because um, I was thinking like I want to be like Gary V because I love how like how he lives his life. Mm -hmm. And I love how he does everything. And he was just saying, don't don't copy me. Like, that's not you. You you do yeah. your own thing. Be you. Yeah. Be you. Be yourself. And I'm yeah, like, he never he never conveys that his way is the one way. You know what I mean? The yeah. way he does things. He always says everyone's got there's a million oh, ways. Man. to Right being happy kind of thing yeah and then so i was like i want to be my own version of that you know so you didn't know who you were as in you didn't know who you really were right. before you moved out to la and now that you moved out to la do you think you found out who you are or are you still on the journey i'm still on the it's journey a, it's a lifelong journey oh yes yeah I, and and now like what gary says uh, uh f fall in love with the process fall in love with the journey yeah and and i am i'm loving it that's what we were talking about earlier yeah. you know the come up kind of thing that's why that's why we love you yeah. know, doing this and talking yeah. to people so. and so far like i love how every pretty much every day is a great day i know the days are coming where it's going to be tough bad days but i'm just like i think those days will really will like help me yeah. and then you know like i'll learn even more yeah, gives now. you something where i don't want to go back to that and yeah that exactly gives you a new perspective yeah so. and then like and you know not not every day is going to be perfect you know it's yeah. it's stuff happens man so stuff those, really does those imperfect days are probably going to be better than your days in texas so. oh oh yes and then I, that's what i dude i'm going to remind myself that from now on thank you thank yeah. you yeah because i'm just like think, thinking too like what am i going to do back home there's nothing so yeah. like i'd rather have a bad day here and then it's just a bad day yeah. than you know just a normal boring day back in pleasanton you know oh yeah it's a it's a bad day enjoying your life in la trying to work towards something yeah. when people care about you and everyone's on your team yeah versus just you sitting in your bed watching netflix exactly yeah I, like i said too man i was just kind of like yeah, i'll read his books or like yeah you know but i wasn't really doing much and i'm just like it's time to do something with my life and i'm so glad like and i'm 20 years old you know, you're young. Yeah, super young. Like I believe Gary. Like I could mess up for three years, still be young. And so, like I'm like perfect. I learn when I'm young. Like I got these amazing opportunities, and like I want to see where I'm at. Like in a few years, you know, and I'm still be young. It was just crazy. Do you ever think you came to that epiphany, uh, or you would have if you didn't talk to Gary, or would you be in your 30s or your 40 year old, you know, midlife crisis? Because you can always look back, you know. Yeah, like you know, I, I was thinking too, like, because I always wanted to move here. That was always like a main goal. And like, I love what Gary said too, because uh, I always talked to my mom, I'm going to move here. And then she was just, it's all talk. You know, she just didn't believe it. It wasn't until she believed it. She didn't believe it until she saw it. That's what yeah. it was. And until I did it, she was like, oh my goodness. You know, like, she's like, you can't go. You can't go. She acted like the, you know, Gary V tore a family apart. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'm like, he didn't do nothing. You know, like, it's me. This is my choice. He gave me this opportunity, like, like I'm sure anyone would have done it, you know. So like, it, it th this is like, I don't know, I don't know, man. This is this is something else. This is like really something else, eh, man. Uh, what are you worried definitely. about in the next coming weeks? Money issues, financial, or um, running, getting burnt out? Are you worried about getting burnt mm -hmm. out? Yeah, you know, actually, some people were telling me about that. Um, do not burn out. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And I'm like, I love marathons, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they were saying too, like, hey, if you're not feeling it, you know, just it's okay. You know, like, it's all, enjoy the view. I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, take a walk, take a breather. If you don't feel like it today, all right. You know, also too, like, yeah, like what you're saying with money. Yeah. Like, I was, <laughs> I was thinking like, mm, like, am I going to make some money now or, you know, later? And then, 
but also the opportunities people want to collab like uh like i was doing like i was saying about that guy with that product i think that's going to be big i really do believe like 100 percent that's going to be big i know you don't want to name it but can you tell us the niche is it filming is it is it food is it you know can you tell if is it anything you could tell us in the niche you don't have to say the brand name but oh um it's something you use like with your phone and everything so an app no okay. no it's it's actually like an actual thing okay like an actual product okay. you use with your phone okay yeah uh i got the package in today and so so they sent uh, you samples so yeah. they're like yeah, yeah. they're wow. really wow. Pack. You get on it i thought that was awesome because okay there's two kinds of people i just met right now well not right now but uh uh, like a few days ago two kinds of people this dude made a logo for me i mean i like the font and everything but he's like cash at me a hundred dollars mm. and then you know like send you this logo we can work <laughs> on it this and that he literally sent me his username too i was like what yeah. and like and he was kind of like saying like yo i'm getting no response but i'm gonna be here tomorrow at this location if you want to link up and everything and i'm like I'm like delete you know yeah. and then yeah. now this other dude the product I mean, like, and it's funny how we met him because I was on live with Dante and Peter mm -hmm. and I confused him with someone else talking trash. And then like, I was like, oh my God, like, let me apologize to him because he was saying, but he also kept commenting on the live. Like, I want you to like, you know, advertise my product. I want you to like use my product. I'm like, this guy really wants me to use this product. What the heck? And I DM'd him I'm like, yo, dude, I'm so sorry. I confused it with someone else. He's like, no, don't worry, man. But I want you to like really see my product. And he sent like the the link yeah and i was like oh dang and then i saw the like i showed the video to dante and peter and then we're all like oh my goodness this is something else like i'm so excited for this and so he sent you like a kickstarter link or what kind of it was just, just his a, website it was actually amazon prime it's okay on, yeah okay. it's on amazon so i was like oh nice and he said he does this product all by himself it's all him like the ships it out and everything so I was like, wow, you haven't been on Shark Tank yet? Like, what? Like, this is something. So, I, like, I was really, really excited. This guy's from Texas, you know? So I was like, dude, what? So, um, no, like, I was so excited. And he wants me to, you know, like, do the content. And then, like, uh, Dante, like, knows about the business. And, like, you know, like, and he wants to talk and everything. So I was so excited. I got the package today. And I even, like, showed Dante and I showed uh, that guy, too trying to keep you know keep people's, it on the yeah. yeah yeah but um yeah like i i showed them and i'm like i got the package and he's like awesome like let me know like when are you gonna open it and i'm like definitely like and i want them to be with me and like you know facetime him and be like all, all right. right we got this what do we do now and he's like uh, like let me know I mean, through it's just right. we'll continue to yeah. inspire you more and more kind of thing right i think not even i think like now i don't think gary will push me i think other people like that i connected with oh, yeah. now oh, like, yeah. will push me and then also too like maybe i'll watch another you know like podcast or, or maybe i'll watch another like his his uh his videos like a day in the life thing right. and maybe what he says i'll be like all right let's go you know that's all i needed that's all I, and then i'll just go from there because you've already had that that kind of personal connection so anything that he puts out that's kind of encouraging to you is going to be that much more probably affected right? yeah effective right yeah and it's funny too because i think the, uh, whenever I first started, like I came here, what I just witnessed myself, like it was amazing. And people were like, I don't think he's just doing much. I think he's just chilling over there. And I'm like, and that's when I realized my first mistake. I was like, I need to record this. Yeah. So that's, people won't say stuff. It, that's yeah. what yeah. I've been talking about a lot. Oh, it's yeah. just like just recording everything. So that way, even if it's not to show people that you're legit, but it, would but yeah, it's just yeah. it's amazing to look back and let's say you do in three years you have all these different things going for you you can yeah. see like dude just a few a few years ago i hopped <laughs> on a plane and you know life's been different since then so yeah. so you, did you get laid off when from a, from a job in the past yes uh the bank I did get laid off. Okay, yeah, we yeah. we heard something. We we're gonna ask you about that. We yeah. heard something about that in the so you had in the a interview. job at a gas station. And where was the bank in this? Oh, that was that was that was the first thing. The bank. Okay. okay. Gas station and then the clinic. So the so, bank. What did you do? Uh, I was just a bank teller for two years, uh, and I think I met like well not met him but like I, like I came across Gary V. I I want to say before I got to the bank. Okay. I want to say that. Uh, but yeah, like he was very motivating. How'd you come yeah. across him? Uh, I think through, yeah, Instagram. Like I saw something. Yeah, about he, I mean, he's trending on World Star and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And then I saw like something motivational. I'm like, dude, this, this guy, what he says is right. Let me let me follow him. 
And then from there, like it went from YouTube and I was like, oh my goodness, what he says is yeah, so true. Yeah, I mean, true. he doesn't have any like, oh, pay for my class and you'll get, you no, know. That's, that's what, what I, I love. That's what I love about that's him. What yeah. I, he's not like Ty Lopez. Well, he, he like, knows, yeah. he knows, yeah, <laughs> Ty Lopez, that's our, that's our we're, guy. We're uh, not the biggest fan. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we, we like, we in the backyard, you know, hey, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. my Lamborghini. <laughs> but I think that's, what, that's what's legit about Gary is he, he knows, I think, that people aren't going to do anything if they don't have it in them kind of thing. So right. if you don't have that motivation inside of you, then there's nothing going to be there. It doesn't matter how much content he puts you in. He could pull out a 10 step plan, follow these 10 steps and you're going to be successful. Yes, and no one's, yeah. no one's going to do that for themselves unless they really have it already. Right. in them. So that's why you know, I love it. Unique when, about uh, him. What was it? He was in one of the videos and like it was him and like, ah, uh, that Kevin, Mr. Wonderful. All right. Shark Tank. Yes, I'm yeah. that guy. I love that dude. Uh it was funny because I love the when they were standing right next to each other, Gary's just normal clothes mm -hmm. and Kevin's just all dressed up in all suit, nice. Yeah. I'm like, look, they have like so much money, but look like, look at the difference. Completely different. Completely lives. different. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, Wow. I like at least like why can't I be like that? Just dress up normal, but like what I can do. It's just like, oh my goodness. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, that's insane. So Stuff happened fast. So that's when you started yeah. learning about Gary Vee. Um, then it just took off, really, <laughs> yeah. just from there. Yeah, did, you, really. did the Gary Vee help you? Uh, it did stop for like o over a year because I, you know, I didn't find anything. And then and he's like, you know, you need to – and then like I just saw like motivating stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll bring it back. And then I did. And then like – yeah, with that and then the flip life, like really I was watching one of his trash talks and then like I just started finding stuff from my room. And I was like, hey, let me see how much. Oh, hey, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll sell this on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. And just to let you know, trash talk is a uh, series he has where he basically goes to, I mean, anywhere, trash yes. or uh, the Goodwill and flips it on eBay. Yes. Um, so that's that's what that is for clarification. Awesome. But yeah. yeah, so it just got you motivated. Right. Yeah, yeah. I actually saw I saw one of your screenshots. Because any, anyone you. can do yeah. that. You know, anyone yeah. can. And they can make, you can make. You can make, someone's making two grand a month just doing it. And that's yeah. better than minimum wage jobs. Yeah, full so. time. Just flipping, yeah. Yeah, I was, and it also too, I was like thinking, like I'm surprised he didn't bring it up. He was just kind of like, oh, that's cool. But um, I got some boots for free. Have you heard of Luke Casey? Mm -mm. That's like the that's like the Gucci brand of belt of belts of boots. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, that's like the expensive kind. Like okay. people spend like six hundred on just a pair. You Dang. know, but that's just I think that's like one of the cheapest ones. But um, I didn't know anything about it. But I just I got it for free, and it's still it, like it was nice in the box, still in plastic. And then I looked it up on eBay. I'm like, mm, they're doing good. I mean, mm, I'll get something. And then people were offering me forty. I was like. This has got to be worth more than forty. Just by looking at it, I'm like, I don't know what it is, but it's got to be worth more than forty. And then it went to eighty, and it went to a hundred, and then like it kept growing and growing. And I think I sold it for like over two hundred dollars. Wow. Dang. Yeah. And then they were like, that was pretty cheap, David. You could have sold it for more. And that's what he encourages, you know, is just yeah. Putting it out there. It's, I was yeah. like, you really, Gary? I got it for free. You know, <laughs> made like so much profit. Yeah. But it, it was awesome, you know, just selling those. All right. So, sure. So for the last thing, in okay. one sentence. Okay. Why should the people continue to care about David Lee Hernandez? I think they should care because um, this they should use me like as a like as an example, you know. Absolutely. They should use me as an example. Like this is just a normal guy. I didn't have a rough background, nothing like that. But it's just me. Always wanted to do this, and they should like they use me as an example. Like, well, if he can do it, so can I. Yeah, you know. Just yeah. from like just starting out, and like no matter what, you can always learn. We have so many learning tools now that we can do it. So, use me as an example. Okay. And yeah. like that guy can do it, so can I. So that's the one thing you Perfect. want them to take away from it. Definitely. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I think that was that yeah, was good. Right. That was a great, oh, great, great yeah. cast. Thanks it. for coming down and talking yeah, to us. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Yeah. This is fun. I love All right. it. Cool man.